Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my shed. My name's Ian. Well, you know that. Sunday, the, I don't know, 2nd, 3rd of February. It's raining. That's good, that, because it means it's warming up. Although, still, my breath is still freezing in here. Still, never mind. Got to crack on. Uh, picked up some stuff this week. Down here. What have we got? What have we got? Have we got? Well, we picked up a, a stick welder. So, the, the, the wiring, I don't know if you can see that, the wiring's a bit dodgy, so I don't want to just stick that on. So that's there. So, making some space for that, I came across the starter motors, which I still haven't stripped. That's a, a smallish one. Uh, that's a bit bigger. That one's come off a Ford Ranger. So, an interesting if I bang that one down on the table, then you get a load of black dust or something coming out of it. Okay, well, I'm going to be honest, I've been stripping scraps since I was 13. And I think I've only ever stripped probably half a dozen of these, and I certainly haven't stripped one in the last. 30 years so we're in for a, an exploratory two bolts as far as I can see holding it together two screw heads holding the switch mechanism on I ain't gonna mess about we straight in with angle grinder cut the bolts let's carry on in the background, if you can hear some music, that's Hazy Days. I've got his playlist going. Oh, uh, I've had him easy listening. He, very Bob Dylan-ish. Uh, I like it. Hope you like it. If you like it, get over to his site and get a thumbs up on his music. The guy needs the uh, recognition he deserves. Right, come on. Let's start. Let's have a look. I could take the time and unscrew everything, take the bolts out. Oh, that was easy, two screws. Should have run away first. Four kilogram. Now oh, come on, let's do it proper. Kilograms in the middle. Now, I said four kilogram. Four and a half. Hey. Not too bad for a guess. So four and a half kilograms. I'll turn that over to pounds for the people across the pond. 10.2 pounds. Okay. So I said 4.5 kilograms. Uh, electric motors currently beginning in February fetching... Uh, 200 pounds a ton, 20 pence a kilogram. I've got 4.5 kilograms, 80p and a half, 90p. That's shocking. That says if I go and weigh that in as an electric motor, I'll get 90 pence, not even a quid, a pound. No squids, a pound. It's not even worth weighing in. Shocking, you gotta you gotta break it up. You gotta break it up. It's the only way you're gonna get any money out of this. So come on, let's break it up. I mean shocking. Well like I said, no messing about. Two screws out. Let's pull that out. I got that out. Sorting them bolts out easy. Going apart in three pieces. Easy enough. Two posy drives at that end. Back 
up. Hey. Universal key that angle grinder. Just you knacker up the posy, just put a little slot in it. And you can get a flat head in it, no problem. What have we got? That's aluminium. Tiny little bit of uh, rubber on it. No rubber on it now. We'll put that on one side. We've got here brushes. Bit of alley. a little bit of copper will save these brushes they'll come in handy you can let's take one out let's take one out because like I've got this uh, I've got this angle grinder it needs new brushes they're well worn down but with this stuff you can you can take one that and you can actually cut them down so that's what i might have to do to get the angle grinder fixed i'll put that at one side look at that in a minute go in here there's the copper windings that should be interesting here to get them out Come back to that in a second. The rotor, that came straight out. You can see the, the balancing marks when they automatically put it on the machine to grind it. Hmm. Let's see if I can break these commutators out. So there's some copper to be got out the end of the commutator. Maybe if I cut the ends off. Well, that was easy to come off, weren't it? So a little bit of hammering. I should be able to uh, rescue all the uh, copper segments off that. To one side. Probably end up slinging that on a fire. Let's see if I can get the rest of the rings out. But whilst I'm at it, I'm just going to cut this top ring off. Why not? the top ring off there's copper there to be getting getting socking there is copper there to be got out of that depending on how much trouble you want to go to you know I'm going to do it don't you I'm going to cut this other ring off No, I can't knock the copper rods through. I don't know. Probably stick that in a fire, see what happens. Getting some copper out of it. Well, it's there. You can get it off if you want to, depending on how much trouble you want to go to. No, I just pick that up. To me, straight away, that is going to be worth more the pound I was going to get uh, 
weighing the whole thing in. But well, we're just playing about, aren't we? What have we got here? I'll cut the heads off so I can take the studs out. What have we got? We've got a rack and pinion. So that's got to come out somehow. Probably bash that through there. Uh, screwdriver in here. Oh, that's coming out. Bit of iron. Sun and moon gears, I think that's called. Planetary gears. The glint of phosphor bronze bushing there. Uh, there. Shut up. There we are. So I could rescue the bush bronze bushings out of them if I wanted to. Screwdriver, that gets all that out. Aluminium casting, it's got a metal stud at the end. Right. That should. There is a metal sleeving in there, so that needs to be taken out. What have I got? We'll do it old school. Come here, that's got that out. That's a clean piece of aluminium, we'll weigh that afterwards. Everything on there is steel. Interesting, that's all, just interesting. to get the copper out. This is the first one that I'm taking apart for many a years. I'm just going to split this metal casing in two. Remember this is not just about stripping it for the scrap. Seeing how things come together. Seeing how things come apart. Let's whip, let's break this open. What have we got? And how did, oh, it's nice solid copper winding. Well, there will be. I mean, that thing's gonna draw what? 30 amps, 45 amps? Cause it's a big thing, but how do I get them off the I have to be honest, I've no idea. Not got a clue. I haven't got a Scoobies. If in doubt, hit it with armour. Copper is being held on with this uh, dovetail plate. It's obviously held on there. 
I'm going to try drilling one out, first of all. Well, that was easy. That was easy enough. So, I started the other side, so... Punch is easy as well. That leaves those two there with a little bit of persuasion. And we got the copper off. Alright, well, it's certainly solid copper. For how much trouble it is to go and get all the coating off, I don't know. Maybe just throw it in as windings. Right, I'm going to do the other one. Well, that took a minute. Centre pop, drill, punch it out. You knock the dovetail off, you then get the windings out. One minute's time. Easy peasy. What have we got left? We've got the, the solenoid part of it. Whip that off. Oh, copper! And we've got the solenoid. Now we've gone into a solenoid before. I'll do the same thing. We'll use the hammer and break the end off. Nice copper bolt. We've got a stir washer type of thing. That's got that off. If in doubt, just keep hammering at it. If it's a solenoid, there's got to be copper in there, hasn't there? Got to be. So I'm just going to split the casing in two places. At this point, what we're trying to figure out is how was it put together? So I can take the next one apart easier. So it's straight there, and it's folding over there, and that's solid, and it's been pressed in that way. Which means to get this apart without an angle grinder, then it's got to come out downwards. Which means you need to widen the top because it's been folded over. Like that. Well, that's where the money is. Again, let me tell you, there'll be people watching this saying that's a messy way of taking a starter motor apart. Let me tell you again, I've never took one apart before for a long time, so I'm learning. Now I'm taking that one apart, that one should be a double. Let's have a tidy up, have a way up. I tied it up because, well, according to people know this, but scrapping is messy. So, uh, that's it, let me have a clean up. Almost tied it up, decided I would knock the phosphor bronze bush out of the gear. Simple enough, got a hole there, over the hole, over the top, and out she pops. Every little else. That's it. 
vent is clear, just have a way up. <laughs> well, I've got the scales ready, but <laughs> why am I laughing? Well, between that edit and this edit, it was about 35 minutes. I went over the, to the PC to change the song and Gil Skills was live. So he ended up joining his live stream and uh, that has well put me behind time. So, come on. Without much ado, let's see what weight we got. I've got 0.7 kilograms of copper. Uh, I'm going to say what I'm currently. I'm going to call. Not going to call it number one. Number two, three thousand eight hundred pound a ton. Thirty-eight pence a kilogram. Of nearly a kilogram. Poof. Three pound fifty. That's a guess. Three pound fifty in money, UK British pounds. Uh, don't forget, I was only getting. 90 pence for weighing it in as a motor so already i've got three and a half times the money just in the copper and i didn't throw the phosphor bronze ah stick it in there not weigh anything right let's stick the iron on this is for the iron two and a half kilos of iron ah uh, what am i fetching at the moment 12p a kilogram so even at that I'm uh, a, 24p 24p uh, where are we with the aluminium almost a kilogram of aluminium it's cast aluminium that is fetching currently six, uh, 700 pounds a ton, 70 pence a kilogram. So I've got 70p for that. So I was three and a half quid, 4.50. And what was it? Third so week, call it a fiver. I've got five pounds. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. Check that motor in as it is. Gonna get 90 pence, nothing. Then harder. Strip it to bits, weigh it in separately, you're gonna get four pound fifty, five pound. Four and a half, five times the price. Yeah. Okay, I didn't strip it in a cost effective manner. I'll explain again. Because I know some of you people they missed all the middle bit out beginning. Just to the end, Guido. I've not stripped one of these for a long time. I stripped it in a way that when I do another one, I would know how to take it apart. So, starters for scrap. Good way to start. See what I did there? Play on words. Right, going. It's still fresh in here. See you in the next vid, guys.